So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how to edit the font size and also the font style. And there's many different ways that we can actually go about doing this. You can edit the actual code and you can add in the back end in the styles.css file. Uh, but for us, what we're going to want to look at is just how can we do this with a very simple plugin. And there's many, many different plugins out on the market. Uh, the first being use any font and the second being easy Google fonts. And these are just two that I selected that were very good. There's actually you know, probably over a dozen that they actually made, but these are the two best ones. The ones that we'll be actually using, or the one that we will actually be using is Easy Google Fonts. All right, so before I actually show you how to utilize the Easy Google Fonts plugin, what I want to show you first is actually the WordPress directory plugin page. And what I want to show you is the number of downloads and the ratings. So I went through the directory to find the different font plugins and what I found was this was a very very good one typically you don't have something that has that high of a download and also that high of a rating and so you can know this is something that you can definitely trust so it's a free plugin you just download it like you would any uh, WordPress plugin and once you have it downloaded and activated you're just gonna go into appearance then you're gonna click on customize and if we recall from before the customized window or the customized page is kind of where we edited things like the site title the tagline colors uh, maybe dropped in a menu here and there things like that. We haven't touched it in a while And so what we're gonna do though is click on typography We probably haven't seen that one before because this one was just added by the easy Google fonts plugin And you'll notice here. There's many different you know paragraphs heading one through six And so paragraphs is just all this text. That's normally in the blog itself All right, so all the posts things like that are all gonna be the paragraph text heading and the heading one is what you ever you specify, you know, the H1 tags. Generally, this is probably going to be an H1 tag depending on how the theme developer set it up. But yeah, you know, you would specify, remember, when you actually, you know, change the different uh, styles to your um, text, you can add heading one, heading two, heading three as the options. And that always depends on the actual theme that you're using. So some may have heading one, two, three, four, five, six. Some may only have one, right? But I know that everybody should have at least a paragraph um, style. So what we're going to do is click on edit font here and it's going to be editing this thing right here. So what we're going to do first is the scripts and subsets. So we're just going to click on Latin if it's going to be in English. Um, and we're going to click on font family and we're just going to browse through any of these, right? So you can just find which one looks best to you. I think the best way though, since there's literally hundreds of Google fonts, just Google up Google fonts and browse through them and you'll be able to find the name, right? Let's just say, I think I found one that I kind of like that I thought was somewhat interesting. Let's just go with this one, Cherry Swash. It's kind of, you know, got that more, you know, interesting look to it, kind of like a old penmanship style. Um, I personally probably wouldn't make my actual blog posts like these, but because they're kind of difficult to read at the top. But let's just say this is what you wanted, right? And it has different font weights and styles, regular and 700. So, you know, you can stick to whatever you like, text decoration, underline, line through. Probably you wouldn't ever have those for all of them, the uppercase, lowercase, things like that, right? So that's actually how you would change the style. So we're done with changing the actual font. You obviously can browse through all the different fonts. Um, now we can just change the color. If you want a different color besides the typical black, say you want blue text. I'm not too sure why, but if you wanted blue text, that's perfectly fine. You know, you could change that. If you wanted something super big, right? This was the, the size of all the paragraph text, right? Probably that's not what you would want, and you would probably make it somewhere in the middle, right? Like 15 to 18 would probably be good, right? So you can make it something like that. You can make the line height, see what that changes. Um, and you can change the letter spacing if you want it to be more close together, things like that. Um, and you can just work with whatever you like. And the one thing that I like about this is that it's so flexible. You know, you get to see live actually what the changes you're actually making. And positioning is also something you can do. You can change the, the padding, um, the display, and the margin. And these are things that you should just test, right? You should just play around with it. Um, and whatever you enjoy, whatever type of font style you like, just make sure it's fairly legible. Um, then just choose that one. And if you found one that you like, just click Save and then Publish.